Today, we're excited to welcome a celebrated New York fashion designer and business owner. Garrow Sparrow joins us to talk about creating custom designs for his celebrity clientele, being a finalist on Project Runway, and growing his line over the last 20 years. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today, we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Everybody, let's give Garo the biggest, warmest welcome. Yay! Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. You are a celebrated designer and business owner in what is probably the most competitive and most renowned city in the world for fashion, and that's New York City. And you're right around the corner from us right here. Yeah. It, it's and, part of it all. And you know what, Garrow, you're standing out in that competitive space, and Thank it's you. so cool. How would you describe your style and your business? I would describe my style as being out of the box. You know, I'm inspired by people. It's a lot of custom-driven work, and pretty much there's nothing that we do that, it's a head-to-toe look, it's a one-stop shop when you come into my, my boutique. And I, I think when I was watching you on Project Runway, I um, noticed you were very futuristic in your style. Yes. And I tried to channel that today as I got dressed to get ready for our interview. I was thinking about your um, Elton John costume and I was channeling a little bit of that. I think that may have been my favorite piece that you did. Thank you. That was outrageous. Yeah. Um, but I, I love your style and I, I love what you're doing in this city. You were recently a finalist on Project Runway. Yeah. You didn't just show up, you went to the end. <laughs> and really you, that. my gosh, what an accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, how did appearing on the show influence your vision as a designer? You know, appearing on the show, it basically, because I had been in business for many years beforehand. So like I never had people saying, no, that's not good or no, just to be told no, or like you need to fix this or fix that. It was kind of tough at the beginning, but it was actually a great experience. It, it added to the journey and I came out as a better designer in the end. And in addition to hearing no, you heard things like you have a time limit. You have a yeah. wild, crazy challenge that yeah. you have to do. There's cameras in your face. Yeah. There's people competing with you sitting right next to you. Exactly. How did you handle that kind of pressure? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, the good thing is, like, I, it was boot, my business is like a boot camp for that situation because we okay. get 24-hour turnovers all the time when we work with musicians and oh, okay. celebrities. It's crazy. So it was a little bit of a, of a shock at the first yeah. to be with that many people. But once it began to be less and less people, it got easier and easier. Well, you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And you're, you're gosh, you're in the city now since 95? Yep. And you started design at 19 years old, right? Yeah. How did you know that you wanted to be a designer and do what you do? Oh, I knew immediately, you know, I knew from like the age of five years old. Really? Because like my, my family we were always in the garment business and there was like always a sewing machine in the house. Really? I was the only kid allowed in that room and I got to experiment and I just knew that I wanted to do something that changes somebody's image and their, just encapsulate who they are through, through fashion, through clothing. And the fashion magazines that helped too, that my mom would get. Well, you had several celebrity clients. Can you talk about some of the folks that you've worked with? Oh, there's, there's many, and I hate to leave people out. Right. But at the top of my head, as the, as the most people I've worked with most recently, Lizzo, amazing. Cool. She's an amazing woman. She's going to take over the world. Um, there's Halsey. There's um, Madonna, has been my client since I was like 24 years old. It's amazing, she's still coming back. Um, you know, Nicki Minaj, amazing client. Beyonce, the list can go on, yeah. It's a, it's a very impressive list. Thank you. And uh, you know, when you think about the demands and the ask that they had and what you created, do you have any one or two favorite pieces that stand out to you that you're most proud of? I did this great piece for Nicki Minaj's tour. And I was working with this size B. Ockerlin, and she's like, Garrow, I need evil empress <laughs> from the future. And I was just That's like. That's actually <laughs> a great assignment for you. Yes, it It's was actually your, your perfect assignment. Yeah. So, so what did you do with that? So 
So what I did was I just basically, I had been collecting all these Chinese embroideries over the years, like really beautiful. So I was like, I'm gonna give them to Nikki. So I took, I took all those embroideries and I created a, like a thermal plastic, like double shoulder, like reticulated insanity. And um, <laughs> of course threw a cincher in there with, with the Chinese embroideries all over that and carried them all through. And um, you know, gave her like very hot shorts with the embroideries all over those. So it was like really a wonderful culmination. So to have this collection and be able to give it to Nikki was like fabulous. Wow, and you mentioned the, the course at the cinching. I saw yeah. that a lot um, in your work when you were on the show. Yeah. Um, where does that come from? Can you tell us more about that aspect of your style? Yeah, Basically, it comes from a really strange place. You know, I always wanted a Barbie growing up. <laughs> and that's what you call like the doll silhouette. Yeah. But I don't really do that. I, okay. I just, I like to like embrace the figure and make everybody look and feel as good as they possibly can. Yeah. My courses are super comfortable, only wow. cinching the soft tissue. Okay. I, need, I, did, I only do modern corsetry. So with that, it's, it's an empowerment thing. Like where it used to like make people feel caged, it actually uplifts people. It makes you stand up straight. It makes you proud of what you, your assets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Any size that you are. You're, you're dedicated to the idea that people will express themselves more creatively through fashion. Yes. What, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, if you look at the world today, we have drag queens on television, we have all these amazingly costumed, like, fantasy films and, and television series, there's this, all these superheroes happening, there's yeah. an up-and-coming generation and there's a current generation. Everybody's being inspired by that. You know, you can just wear who you are on the outside and I want to like take that to the whole world. And in today's world of social media, Instagram and these spaces, you get credit for what you're wearing. Absolutely. And people take a lot of pride in that, yes, for sure. Absolutely. Um, you do empower others through your vision in fashion and what you do. And you think about, you described to me, you know, putting that, that cinched waist on today's modern women so that you, you rise up and feel empowered. But, yes. and, and I love all of that. But how do you think about your fashion? <laughs> how, when, you, when you get ready, when you style yourself, yes. how do you think about Garo? Well, you know, I always like to have lots of lucky charms. Like, okay. these, this is for money, this is to keep me calm, this is just a ring that's like from an old family member. I have my like shark's tooth, it's like a thinking tooth. You know, you have Ganesh and Crystal here. You, I have my lucky charms. You know, I'm never gonna give them up. My family crest is on these shields. These are my men's line. So I just try to just like look put together but not trying too hard. And I have to have like my necklaces too. You know, like keep me calm, these crystals. And, and it's working for you. Oh, absolutely. If I, if I do say so. I, Thank it, you. It, it is. Thank it's working. You. Thank you. As you move your business forward, mm -hmm. how are you thinking about expanding it all? How do you think about your your place around the corner here? Oh, absolutely. Like yeah? that's we're in the we're in the process of expanding tremendously. I'm gonna be sell it and already taking pre-orders from everything I did on Project Runway on the, in my final collection. We're also selling pieces that I used to sell at my boutiques when I had them in the East Village that people still want. Like and we're just definitely gonna be a ready to wear whole rage wear section on my website. A lot of it's going to be driven online through Instagram, Shopify, all those great things. I would love to work with you and pick something out for me. I would love I that. I want to be a customer. You need to come. I would love to wear something of yours. It's something that would make the most sense. We should talk oh, about yeah. that. Bring it on, sister. Well, thank you so much for opening up. Oh, you and got it. And sharing that. We're going to transition now into a game that we oh. call Hustle Time. Team. 60 seconds on the clock, please. 60 seconds, and we'll see how many we can get through. Okay. 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 Wine, white or red? Red. Peanut butter, cups or M&Ms? Um, M&Ms. Would you rather have more time or more money? Uh, more time. Favorite breakfast food? Uh, egg. Number of times it took you to pass your driver's test? Uh, once. Last person you texted? Um, Troy. If a genie granted you three wishes, what would you wish for? Um, I would wish for everlasting life. I would wish for um, ah, some money. Yeah. And I would wish for, uh, I'd want to fly. If you could go back in time, who would you want to meet? Oh, I would so want to meet um, uh, Marie Antoinette. Would you rather fly or talk to animals? Um, I'd rather fly. King size or fun size? King size. The best chocolate in the world comes from where? Uh, Switzerland. 
If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Um, it would be just to be able to read people's minds even more than I already do. New York City tourists, help with directions or keep on your own way? Um, help with directions. Finish the sentence when I dance, I look like. I look like I know what I'm doing. Yay! Okay, <laughs> nice. Nice. We got one, <laughs> two, three, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yay. Nice. Nicely done. Favorite part of your day? Morning. Love it. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Um, be true to yourself and don't water yourself down. Worst piece of advice? Water yourself down. How do you use your career to inspire others? I use my career to inspire others just by showing people that you don't have to be in this square box they call fashion. It goes in every direction and it's evolving. Ever felt like walking away? Never. One thing you still need to learn? Um, I would say to say no, but I don't want to ever say no to anything. It's really hard. <laughs> what do you want people to learn from you? I want people to learn from me that, you know, you could take your own path. You know, I, I met Dapper Dan on the show and he said, yes. somebody will meet you at, keep going up your own stairwell and somebody will eventually meet you on your stairwell. And I feel really strongly about that, being a trailblazer. What's next for you? What's next is basically global domination. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, just to like really expand on my line, get people from all over the world. I'm getting orders from all over the world and just like, you know, make it accessible to people and make people feel included. Because they're all sizes, all genders, everything. Who inspires you? Um, you know, a lot of it, people inspire me that are just do what they want to do in life and don't think about it twice. You know, it's not a specific person. It's yeah. just like, it's a, it's a state of mind. Who challenges you? Um, my clients challenge me tremendously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that you were coming in social. <laughs> I, I pulled a question that I, I hadn't thought of. This is a great question. They ask, describe Garrow Sparrow in two words. <sighs> Edgy innovation. And this next question is uh, actually geared toward our favorite entrepreneurial, GoDaddy's pug name Noodle. Oh, no way. Yes, Instagram celebrity, 50,000 oh followers. God. Oh my God, hey baby. Now, hey Noodle baby. is uh, now appearing on two shows at GoDaddy, School wow. Hustle, like he is right now, Excellent. and a new series with Jonathan called Tools of the Trade. Oh, wow. They're killing it. It's a great series. Yeah, excellent. As, it, yeah. Right. <laughs> As Noodle sets out to look his absolute best, what trends in fashion should Noodle look out for? As far as dog fashion is concerned, or just well, fashion in general? Just fashion in human yes. fashion for him. Don't be afraid to be body con, wear something fitted and beautiful no matter what size you are. Yeah. I think that that's just a wave of the future, embracing like your body. It's like a leather tube top. Exactly. Yeah. I see it right now. Already working a harness so he can go that direction. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's fantastic. That's some good advice. Yeah. Um, so when we when we close the show, we like to leave everybody watching with a final thought. Yes. Just sort of a little thought of inspiration as we walk away. I'm going to read three quotes and ask you to tell me which quote resonates the most with you and why. Okay. Okay? Number one. Style is a way to say who you are without having to speak. Number two, you can't build a reputation on what you are going to do. Number three, the harder the conflict, the more glorious the triumph. I would say the number one, of course, because style is a way to show who you are without having to speak. And I'm all about, you know, people expressing them who they are inside from the outside and encouraging that. So that's how that resonates with me. It's just like, be who you are, dress how you want, feel good, and you'll look beautiful. I love that. <laughs> I think that's great. Thank you. Tell everybody how they can follow you. You can follow me at uh, GarrowSparrow.com. You can follow me on Instagram at, at GarrowSparrow, as well as on Facebook, GarrowSparrow as well. And um, just, just, there's many more things coming from me, so just keep an eye out. You'd be ready to watch me again. I will do that. Yes. I encourage everybody to do that. <laughs> and I also encourage everybody to follow GoDaddy in social as well, because we are yes. going to be bringing more fabulous entrepreneurs 
every week. And uh, I know that everybody enjoyed this conversation today. So definitely fo follow both of us to stay in the know on all great things. And we will see you all soon. Bye.